available for $11.49 Canadian on Steam, which is probably $9.99 American. Right now it is on sale for $5.49 uh, Canadian, probably $4.99 American, and that ends on the 26th of September. Um, Yama Corporated. Confirm the studio name. Yep. Welcome, this tutorial will teach you the basics of construction and filling out office space you might have. An office with no workspaces is just empty, useless space. Let's start changing that. I got it. I expand the office. First, let's place a couple of workplaces. Since we don't want world-class developers sitting on the floor with no pads in their hands, doodling with something. Hi. Okay. Uh, rotate. So we got uh, we got a back door over here. We got windows, and then we got uh, the front door up here. So we want to put uh, stuff kind of off over here. Backs to the windows is my kind of a uh, thing. I don't want that there. Can I remove? I wanted to put it uh, actually. Like this is just terrible. Can I? Can I? How do I demolish? I want to put them one space away, but I don't even need to do that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Construction mode. How do I go into deconstruction mode? Demolition mode. I want to demo. I want to demolish this, please, and thank you. Okay, we're gonna go like this then. Okay, boom. Easy. Uh, what else does the office need? Oh, well, simple. You need lamps, dude. Put up a lamp right back here. Put up a lamp up at the front here. Lamp over at the wall there. It's beautiful, dude. It's beautiful. Now, what do we do after that? I don't know. Oh, seven valid workspaces? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. So there's a uh, five. I'll put some more up over here. Sort of like this. Boom, we have 10 valid workspaces. Can't walk between here? Really dudes? Fine. Fine, be that way. We're gonna move this to, uh, I just want to completely destroy it. Sell the object. These are hanging from the roof, I think, or are they standing? These are hanging. Let's put a lamp here. You might think just workspaces are enough, but that's not the case. Game developers are regular people with needs like every other person. Let's take care of that now. Oh, you want to use the washroom? Oh, this is a bathroom back here, dude. Duh. Uh, the sink goes there, obviously. Toilet. We're going to put the toilet back here. And uh, they really want a light in there, probably, is my guess. They want a, they want a light in here. We'll put the light... Uh, thing is, when you're sitting on the toilet, you're going to be on your phone, right? If you put the light directly above, you're not going to be able to see it too well. Because the light's going to be bouncing off, right? So where would you where would you want it? Because if you put it over here, it's going to be bouncing off. But uh, I think right above the sink is the best place. You get nice lighting right above the sink with the mirror there. Nope, we have to put a, a lamp right there. Okay. 
demolish. We have a, a, a lamp right here. We're going to go ahead and just uh, pop that over here. They want a paper holder. Put the paper holder right there. Great, there's only one thing your office is missing now. Water dispenser. Oh, you want you want water? You guys have to drink or something? Um Water dispenser should go by the entrance, I think. Great your office is all set up with the prerequisites. Offices can be up with kitchens and various objects related to comfort so that your employees run out of drive slower and stay in office for longer. Some offices can be expanded. In some cases, you'll need to expand an existing building for a couple more workplaces. This is cheaper than buying a new building. It will give you the much-needed office space. Uh... Okay, it's been expanded. Expansion is one thing, but an entire new office is a completely different thing. A new building will cost a lot more than just expanding your existing one, but you'll get a ton of extra space that way. It's mine now. So I want to show you with these basics in mind, the rest is up to you. You'll need to position things in your offices for the most efficient way possible to allow for as many workspaces as possible. By the way, aside from expanding every office, can have multiple floors. Purchasing a new floor gives you as much extra space and an entirely new office will cost you much less to purchase. Buy some extra floors if you wish to. We're building skyscrapers, baby. Okay. Uh, hiring people. Okay. Mm. I was wrong. Do you have 1.85 million? Send job info to him. Take a designer and a manager. And uh, I do want a software engineer, and sound engineer as well. But Jack of all trades is going to do that. But we're going to need a software engineer. An artist, a writer. Sure. I have my jack of all trades, dude. Boom. I have sent the offer to everybody. Orson Forrester accepted your offer for Jack of all trades position is now available in office starting today. Everybody is uh good to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds good, dude. Good day, people. Good day. This is pretty cool. You could see them having like conversations and stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Game development. Yes, we're gonna make our own game engine. Engines. New engine. Yamagin. Studio. I want all of the things. Mm-hmm. Go as fast as we can. Make Yamagen. With an engine in stock, you can get to work on a game. There are many variables to affect the success of your game, but selecting every single feature under the sun is not one of them. Well, selecting a lot of features for your games is necessary only for a game that is sold for a high price. Well, I, uh, I tell you what. Enter game name. What's the game's name going to be? I have a game. Good game. 
Minecraft. Uh, it is a sci-fi uh, strategy for $24.99, targeted to the teens on PC, the studio, and it is a full game. We're going to go for first person. It's going to have, uh, there's no story. Uh, it's going to have a uh, no dialogue basic world design. It's going to have a save game. It's going to have uh, freedom of movement. Yeah, stealth and sneaking. Stylized graphics. Oh, definitely the chip tune, dude. No anti piracy measures. No anti piracy measures. Okay. Select. Related game. Huh? Huh? Full game. First person. Branching story with multiple endings. It's gonna have, uh... Yeah. Huh? Why can't I... Okay, so I have to pick... I have to pick a... Conversation system. Begin development. Game development process split into three stages. Concept and design, development and polishing. The first two stages are mandatory and polishing can be skipped entirely if you wish. In most cases, however, skipping the polishing stage is like saying a death warrant for the success of your game. Rough gameplay and countless bugs will do your sales no good. That's okay, we're, pre we're, we're early access. Don't even worry about it, dude. He's sick. Oh no, dude. We're bleeding money, man. Now the game's entered the polishing stage, you might want to look at the quality assurance for your game or test it yourself. Quality assurance will play test the game, find issues while you're still working on it. Testing the game on your own will require employees to redirect their efforts instead of working on the game, which means little time or time lost on things that could have been spent working on the game itself. Hey boss, our Minecraft game project is now ready to be released. We're, we're currently polishing it, but this is optional and we can release it as it is if we want to. We're not releasing it. Um, I tell you what we're going to do though. Begin QA. Yeah, start the QA session. And go faster. Mm hmm. Wow. Lots of issues. Fix them. Release it as it is or extend the work period and let your employees further polish and improve it. Dude. Release the game. It's done. There are no bugs. No. I believe that, uh, let's talk about your salary. <laughs> Fire him, but uh, first you have to... Price research Minecraft. How much do you think you're going to call it for? Five dollars? Nine dollars? Uh, we'll talk later. Mega, uh, change the price to $9.99 and then release the game. Okay. Give me some reviews. We just got $17,000. What's up? Folks on the office, we thought it'd be cool if we want to shoot guns at a gun range. Sure. Go have fun. Uh, everybody's pretty happy. Okay. Cool. My game has good value. People, people like it. They tend to, uh, they tend to be into it, you know? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do another project here. We're going to make a new game. This one's going to be, uh, fantasy. It is going to be an action fantasy in Yamagen for $14.99. The audience is going to be mature. This is going to be on PC with the studio. It's going to be a full game. This is going to be a first person branching story with in-depth multiple endings. Fully voiced characters with amateur voice acting and a conversation system. Basic world design. Save game. We're going to have selectable difficulties. Accurate gun mechanics. 
stealth and sneaking. We're gonna have we're gonna have all all of this, man. Not the tips and hints. I don't care about the tips and hints. The tips and hints, no, don't need them. Realistic graphics with static ambient audio and some 8-bit sounds. And uh, yeah, begin development, man. Develop this game. Develop this game. Develop away, man. Develop away. You guys are you guys are doing great work. You're doing you're doing great work. This this office over here is completely and utterly useless. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go with office work. Okay, boom, boom. Look at that. See how beautiful that is. We're even gonna go into demolition mode. We're gonna move this thing over here. We're gonna move this to here, here, here. No. Nope. Over, yeah, here, 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 here. We're going to move the lamp down here. We're going to move this lamp over here. This lamp is going to come down here. I'm going to move you guys with a space in between you, okay? And we're going to add in some more offices here, okay? Oops, that's, that's not where that goes. Move this object to here. Beautiful. Okay, we need more offices though, you see. This is where the problem comes in. So these guys, you're going to be lining up the offices right here like so, okay? This dang water fixture, it's got to it's got to go. I'm sorry, but it's got to go. Water fixture in the corner right over there. Beautiful. Beautiful work. Keep that door clear. There's our offices, okay? We need another lamp. I can get a lamp. Lamp. Boom. Beautiful. We have uh, 10 free workspaces. I tell you what. We're going to go into uh, exit expansion mode. We're going to go ahead and look at some employees here, okay? Hire some employees. I tell you what. Um, this scares me. We're not going to do it right now. Yeah, always approve vacations. You want to go on a vacation, you can go on a vacation. 100% of the time. I will not stop you. This is now done. Begin QA. Yeah. Sign team and fix issues. Begin patch development. Release the game. Uh, in that case, find out what the best price is, please. Cool. Yeah, $9.99. That's okay. $9.99. We'll release it at $9.99. There you go. Untitled game. <laughs> we don't need a name for the game. We are starting to make profits. That's all you need. What's up? Wind out skydiving? Go have fun, dude. I'm always going to prove you guys to go have fun. You guys all having fun? That's what that's what matters. Okay? That's what matters. Oh, no. So, let's hire some employees, okay? I don't know. We want another sound engineer. We want another artist. We want another designer. Another management. Another software engineer. And, uh... Sure. <clears throat> you don't want to... Cool, so we, we, we need another sound engineer, I suppose. Can I see how many I have? Poison Studio. We need another sound engineer. Send you a job offer. We need another writer. Yeah, you, you're a writer. Go ahead and uh, take that. Got a jack of all trades. We only have the one CEO, but I don't want another CEO. Beauty. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay. Game conventions. Expos expired. Okay, that's cool. Marketing? Confirm the specialization. Sounds good, dude. Projects? We're going to go ahead and... Uh, new game. Select the theme. We're going to design a new theme. You're going to design a theme for me. Design a new theme. You're going to design a new genre. Okay? Select the fantasy, sci-fi. Genre, 
we're getting a new we're getting a new genre designed, but in the moment we have to get an adventure game made in the Amagen. Nine ninety nine. The audience, everyone. It's like a drone flying around outside my house or something, man. Studio. Studio. Top down. Linear story. Partially voiced characters. Basic world design. You can save. Can't do much else. Stylized graphics with a chip tune soundtrack. And, uh. No voiceover type. Selected. Amateur voice acting. We got a new theme. We got a new. Uh, we got a new everything here, man. Go ahead and release this game. Uh, I don't. I'm not adding DRM. We are never adding DRM. Okay. We will not add DRM. It will not happen. We will not do that. I, I refuse. Okay, nobody's designing anything. New game, okay? Hospital Horror in the Yamagen for $9.99. This is going to be a mature game right here for PC. We're going to be putting it in the studio. This is going to be a first-person scary with a linear story. It's going to have a conversation with fully voiced characters, amateur Stuff is going to be a little bit of this. We're going to have uh, some stealth and sneaking with realistic graphics and 8-bit sounds with static ambient auto audio. And they'll put in some anti-piracy measures. Just kidding! You want me to put in anti-piracy? We're not doing anti-piracy. It will not happen. Release the game. You guys are you guys are whining about untitled game. Which one? We have three untitled games. Okay, which game are you whining about? This one probably. Create patch. Studio. Begin patch development. Push it. Or something. I don't know. Where's where's my stuff? Got a minute? What's up? Yeah, go ahead. Have a photography for course. Have fun. Y'all go have. Uh, Y'all go, go have fun. This be valuable for you guys. Okay. God, what is that noise? So we got like a chainsaw or something. They run around like a madman. You guys can hear that. Probably. really annoying it's highly annoying it's done now anyway uh, this has been Gabe Dev studio I don't get it to be completely honest with you uh, I know that it was very highly acclaimed a while back uh, and I wanted to get it because it looked fun I got it I never played it I have played it now and I don't get it I just don't get it you know, like I'm making money. I'm not actually, um, but I'm also like not doing anything right now, and I'm on five times speed. So we're really bleeding the money right now. Um, thanks, phone. Uh, but like, I just for me, I just I don't get it. You know, I can keep making games. I can keep designing new themes and new genres. For me, I just uh, I don't understand the appeal personally. I don't understand the appeal of most of these like simulator tycoon builder sort of things like this uh, they don't normally make sense to me so it doesn't confuse me that uh, I'm not understanding it but I just I don't get it anyway this has been game dev studio it is available on Steam for how much yeah 11.49 Canadian which is probably 9.99 American and then uh, it's on sale for 5.74 Canadian probably 4.99 American until the 26th of September 2020 if it looks like it interests you, then like by all means, pick it up. But uh, for my money, hmm, not so much. Um, eh. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. 
and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.